And here is one of the most beautiful quotes about beauty, written by one of the people who probably knows as much about beauty as anybody. His name was Michelangelo. I don't know if you've ever been to uh, Florence and you've seen David. I mean, just to stand in the same room. I went there to just look at David. I had no idea that David was 18 feet tall. And that I stood there, not for 20 minutes. My whole family went traveling all over Florence. I said, come back. I can't leave. I was mesmerized by the beauty. And I always love what Michelangelo said when they asked him, how could, out of one piece of marble, how could you create something so beautiful? And he said, David was already in there. I just chipped away the excess. David is in you. Beauty is in you. And here's what he said about beauty. He said, every beauty which is seen here below, down here below, by persons of perception, resembles more than anything else that celestial source from which we all come. <laughs> Isn't that great? Every beauty that we see resembles more than anything else that source. We're talking about source, connecting to source, from which we all come. Do you see beauty? Do you see it more or less in your life? Can you find it in a homeless person urinating on the street? Can you find beauty in a cockroach? As you reach higher levels of consciousness, you begin to see, not only do you see beauty everywhere and in everything, you begin to recognize it as truth. One of my favorite quotes that I wrote about, and years ago I wrote a book called Wisdom of the Ages, and it was a collection of 60 essays. We did a public television special on it, and many of you uh, watched it and contributed to PBS from it. And there was a young man, a Victorian poet, in, um, in England named John Keats. He died at the age of 24. He wrote thousands of poems, many, many essays, 24. And he said these words, and I wrote an essay about it, but I must confess to you, because I'm better than I used to be, <laughs> I must confess to you that I didn't really understand this quote until I wrote The Power of Intention, until I put together this program here for you. I didn't really fully grasp it. I get it now. I get it. And it's the last line in a poem called Ode on a Grecian Urn. And the couplet goes like this. Beauty is truth. See, this is truth. This is the source from which we all emanate. And we leave when we take on an ego. Beauty is truth. Truth, beauty. That is all you know on earth and all you need to know. From one of the greatest poets of his time. Your natural state is beauty. Joy, tranquility. I want to experience beauty. And you know, the way to get beauty into your life is to say, I only attract it. And I take the path of least resistance. I take the path of least resistance. What's the path of least resistance? The path that says, I am as closely aligned with this energy as it's possible to be. You know, in 1978, I had a wonderful opportunity, one of the great opportunities of my life. I was invited by an organization called YPO, Young President's Organization, to come to Vienna in Austria. It was at the time when uh, erroneous zones and pulling your own strings were topping all the charts, and they invited me to come over and, and lecture to all these presidents. I was 38 years old and very much in more of an ego mode than I have uh, learned to become in my life. But I was honored to go over there, and I had read a book when I was in college, and I was teaching at a university, and I taught this book. It's called uh, Man's Search for Meaning, and it was written by a man who was a survivor of the Holocaust. His name was Viktor Frankl. And Viktor Frankl decided that he had to survive the Holocaust because he had to tell the story. That was his purpose. 
we got to Vienna, and I found out that little Wayne Dyer, this little kid who lived in foster homes and worked for everything he ever had in his life, was on the same panel with Viktor Frankl. Man Search for Meaning. I just sat there in awe with this man who had had everything taken away from him. He was a psychiatrist who was taken off to, to the uh, concentration camps in Nazi, Nazi Germany. And he described how he survived. The Nazis gave him a bowl of soup, which was just hot water, with even sometimes bugs floating around in it. And there was a dead fish head for flavor in the soup. That was his meal for the day. And he described the beauty. Not the anger, because the anger, and he learned very early that anger and resentment and hatred are low energies that always weaken you. He learned to find beauty in a floating fish head. You've got to be able to find it everywhere. Beauty is truth. Truth, beauty. They are one. Find it in as many places as you can.